David Bessis from Tiny Clues. David. Hello, I'm David, uh, founder and CEO of Tiny Clues. I'm delighted to be here and tell you about how we use AI, serious AI, to reinvent our travel companies, engage our existing customers with campaigns that are both personalized but also align with their business goals, which is not easy. If you look at the problem of sending marketing campaigns to your existing customers, on the one hand, you may have millions of customers, billions of data points about these customers, but on the other hand, you have marketing campaigns that could be completely disconnected from the data points you have about your customers. Maybe you have yield management issues, maybe you have new products, new destinations, new categories. How do you personalize that? Well, the problem is you may not know how to align the data points you have with the campaigns you want to send. Let us be concrete. Uh, United is actually not a tiny Clues client, not yet, but they very kindly sent this message to Michelle from our team, who is sitting in the room right now, promoting uh, a trip to Mumbai on Polaris class, which is nice. How do you personalize that? Do you batch and blast everyone? Probably not. Do you send it to people who traveled to Mumbai in the past, but where they want to go again? Do you send that to the Polaris clients, or actually do you expect people to fly Polaris for the first time because you show them that? You see all these criteria, they're not stupid, but clearly suboptimal, and it's very hard for you to know which ones will be the best. This is one campaign. Now, if you look at your marketing plan, there's an interesting thing. We have over 100 customers, most of them big enterprise accounts in retail and travel. All of them were using Excel as a tool to plan their marketing campaigns, align their data science and marketing team. Excel is not a marketing tool. If you're using Excel to prioritize your campaign, it means that you're doing that not based on value, not based on data, but based on your gut feel and static rules. Now, marketers have an excuse for using the wrong tools, because what is supposed to be the right tools is not functioning. For 15 years, MarTech companies have been selling solutions supposed to be intelligent marketing solutions where the experience as a marketer to program this solution is that of a switchboard. Yes, you can be intelligent, but you have to input manually all the segments, all the rules. You cannot build intelligent campaigns if you have to manually decide all the rules. So this is what we're fixing. We're using AI to create a completely new experience for marketers where they can simply, in a, calendar view, in a calendar view, say, on Monday, I have a Polaris campaign to go to Mumbai, but I have also three different campaigns, some of them going on email, some of them going on Facebook, and it will instantly, in a matter of minutes, create the optimal audiences based on the true data points that you have. More concretely, we're a SaaS solution powered by deep learning. I will return to that in a minute here to optimize marketing campaigns across all channels. We have a massive proven impact on both customer experience and revenue. The solution is very easy to use, very intuitive. It's designed for marketers. It's powered by data that can be anonymized. This is made possible by deep learning. And that seamlessly integrates with your existing marketing stack. Incredibly, because of deep learning, again, we don't need to normalize data, which means that you can just export your data the way it is, and you can be literally up in two weeks. This is unique. What about the deep learning thing? Well, it's too short to tell you about deep learning. The one thing I can say, we're a deep tech company. I have a PhD in pure math. We have five people with PhDs in pure math in the team. We have a unique technology that is adapting what has been working with image vision and text recognition to the context of marketing data sets. Very concretely, it means the following. If you want to know if Tim might be interested in your Mumbai campaign for Christmas on Polaris class, well, in the past, you would have be able to build a propensity model based on a few attributes. With tiny clues, you can look at all the tiny clues in your data. Maybe you clicked on the link number 23 in your newsletter three weeks ago. It says something about this guy. We're going to understand what it means based on the actual correlations in your data. It's very powerful, but it's very simple to use for marketers. They love it because they improve the quality of their campaigns and the revenue. On average, our travel clients 
generates 90% more revenue with Tiny Plus Campaign compared to what they were doing in the past. Now, it seems like it's a fake number. It's too high to be true. So you may think, do we have real travel clients? Let's look at them. Some very big brands that you recognize, and I'm not talking about POC, some of these brands, we've been working with them for two or three years. Um, example of metrics, Air France, very big uplift on targeted campaigns. Accor Hotel, impressive figures, we recently announced our global partnership with them. Club Med, impressive, impressive figures. Well, please visit our booth, or kiosk, to learn more about Tiny Clues. But the one thing I want to say before I finish this presentation is the following one. If there are marketers in the room, don't be afraid. We're not going to take your job. We don't believe that robots will replace humans now and in the near future. We think that AI is just changing the way they work. Instead of micromanaging segments, rules, things that are not made to be managed by humans, they can simply focus on what matters, their business, their content, and their strategy. Thank you. Thank you very much, David. Take a step off the stage, Mike. Focus group, thumbs up or thumbs down. Just about all green. Yep. I think all green. Bill, how about you first for commentary? Bill or Phil? Bill. Yeah. Is that my name? Yes. Up yes. Hey, I really like the idea. And I was uh, pleased to see that you had a core. I'm more familiar with, with the hotels. And the capability to improve your conversion rates, particularly by studying the click stream, combining that with the information you have about the loyalty program and past stays, I really think is a winner. So I was very pleased with it. Good idea. And I think it, it's, it, you've proven it makes a difference. Good for you. Hey, David. Dave. Oh, go ahead, Philip. David, good presentation. My name is Philip Wolf. I'm the founder of Focus Right. I travel 150 nights a year. What am I going to say? Good job. Uh, yeah, David, great, great presentation. I think maybe you actually uh, understated some of the value that you drive, being familiar with one of those companies up there. Um, we saw a, a pretty significant um, improvement in um, in using tiny clues. Um, so well done, and and um, those numbers really are are um, very interesting uh, if you take it to the next level. So well done. Yeah, I agree, David. Great great presentation. Love the name Tiny Clues. Makes me want to use it. And I think that um, the but question no I have booze in uh, Tiny Clues. <laughs> The question I'd have for you is uh, the technologist's least favorite acronym, GDPR. I imagine you're going to need a lot of first-party data. How are, you, how are you dealing with that problem? I also think it looks really impressive. Uh, one question, though, you said um, it'll integrate seamlessly with whatever your marketing tech stack is, and I'm always wary of hearing the word seamless because Whenever someone says seamless, it ends up being not seamless. Uh, how, do you, how do you do that? How, do you, how does a, a company get their data to you? There's a, there's a theme that's come out in, in these presentations for me, which is along the lines of personalization and the, the revenue uplift that comes from it. Um, I don't think that's uh, an accident. Uh, my question to you, so congratulations, and I think you're, you're, you're on, uh, on, a, on a real positive track. Uh, my question is, is, is Tiny Clues a, a replacement for another system? Is it an add-on? Is it a single pane of glass that rides on top of all the other marketing systems? How does it fit into the, to the marketing stack at, a, at an airline or other client? So then um, my comment would be thank you for the hotel industry specifically has not done a great job at targeting guests or potential guests via email, sending out more spam, honestly, than helpful email. So anything that lifts up sort of the, the reputation of the hotel industry and sending out more targeted communication, that, that's all for me. So great job. So David, are you a replacement or an add-on? I would try to replay to answer all questions at the same time. It's all about deep learning again. We're not using data based on the exact value. We're looking at the patterns, which, mean, which means it's completely anonymous. It can be heavily encrypted when it's shared with us. So that's all the GDPR thing, which just uh, a technology company, not, not processor of, da of data. And it's all the integration. Data doesn't have to be normalized. That's the secret. We're not replacing the uh, campaign management that is about non-anonymous data. Thank you very much, David. Well done.